It ends the way it ends. Frames to all ecstatic when HBO approaches to work on the visualization across three sequences of the highly anticipated series, The Last of Us. For the ambush sequence of episode four, the showrunners needed visual confirmation that the sequence they had in mind would work within their shoot location in Calgary. Speed was paramount as the shoot was a mere three weeks away from the start of previous. As well as receiving a LiDAR scan of the city blocks where the action would take place, we turned the client's storyboards into an animatic to help get a sense of the timing and pace that the sequence would require. The initial kickoff brief took place on Monday. We spent Tuesday creating the assets and laying out a blocking version of the scene in Maya. On Wednesday, we shot motion capture and a first pass of the virtual cameras in our internal capture lab in Chancery Lane, London. With the rushes, we assembled a first pass of the edit. Thursday and Friday were for animation adjustments, a crude pass of set dressing and some additional virtual camera work. And the sequence was delivered with a strikingly close resemblance between what was designed in previous and the final pixels on screen in terms of framing, action and timing. We used a similar approach for the alleyway diner scene in episode 1. We used a combination of bespoke, keyframe and motion capture animation. Farsight, our proprietary virtual camera system, allowed us to work quickly and was well suited to the handheld aesthetic of the sequence. We explored various ways to frame and cut the sequence having several back and forth with the director and DP. Our previous delivered a mere few days before the shoot, helped the team to prepare accurately for the camera, lighting and stunt work required. The last sequence we worked on was another beast altogether, the lengthy action-packed centerpiece of the entire season. We had roughly six weeks to execute the 140 shot, nearly six minute long sequence, including prep and asset build. To maximize the visual quality of our previous, to inform our clients as best we could of the look and feel of the landmark sequence, we first blocked it out in Maya and then animated and rendered the whole thing through Unreal Engine. Our Unreal technical artist created two different lighting setups for the sequence, pre and post fire, and then fully textured and set dressed in engine. Again, using our motion capture stage extensively, calling on professional actors to get the best motion possible and going through several Farsight virtual camera sessions. We relied on Golem for our crowd work, which provided us great speed and flexibility. Our work was instrumental in not only shaping the sequence creatively in terms of look, feel and action of the characters, but also used to inform on-set technical and creative decisions and help make the sequence what it ended up being. We're extremely proud to see how close the final edit is to what we initially visualised and to have been a small part in such a landmark in cinematography and storytelling.